a scenario for you. Say you live with somebody as husband or wife or you're shacking up as boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. And your mate has been picking up grandma from dialysis twice a week, however, or however often they go. But one day you decide to flatten the tires on the car. And y'all only have one car. What are you? Say I'm the head doctor at the hospital. I don't know what their official title is, but I'm that lady on that show. Y'all remember the show house. Some of y'all remember that show. That lady on that show house. I'm her. The head doctor there in charge of the whole hospital. And there's a mass shooting near us. Now we know the ambulances and fire departments are going to be racing towards us with the shooting victims. And what I do is I fire everybody that works in ICU, the intensive care unit. What am I? Well, I'm the same thing you are for flattening those tires. And what are we? We're this guy. We're this. Now, my scenarios of what Trump did with the gain of function. He disabled the response units. Why? Well, because he knew it was coming. And whoever listening that may not know, the gain of functions is where they uh, create deadly bugs at. Human engineered. Or they take existing bugs and uh, amp them up to be incurable or uncontrollable. And Trump disables the response teams, coincidentally, not long before the bug was unleashed upon the earth. But I don't bring that up because I want to get into that. I brought it up because I want to take another look at the irrational rationale of those who still support this dude. You know, like the rational, the irrational rationale of uh, they used to say uh, to justify why Trump supporters were even in the Capitol in the first place. Their reasoning, I've heard a thousand people do this, man. Their reasoning is that. They are American citizens and taxpayers, and as citizens, they have a right to be in that building, right? When the rest of us know that there's not a building in this entire country that any of us has a right to be in at any time we want to be, and we all know this. And so do the people who lie and say that they did have a right to be in there, but they have to defend no matter what. And because they have to defend no matter what, they continuously make little to no sense. They also know about Trump's role in the bug being let out in the first place. That's why they divert by constantly talking about Fauci, Democrats, and China did it. But I wanted to look at this specific irrational rationale. And it's the old you just don't like Trump routine. It's if there is no good reason not to like him. And I've told y'all a few times before that they will excuse and or outright dismiss whatever wrong that he's done. And that's how they get to make nonsensical statements like you just don't like Trump. Now let me play you an example of this. And she's just one of a thousand people I've heard do this. And I'll have it in the description box and time stamped because the first, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, she's fussing at some people she's into it with here on YouTube. So I'll timestamp when she gets to the conspiracy theories. And uh, by the way, she's Q. Q and I. I'll timestamp where I sampled it from and where she begin. And even I'll even timestamp it where she even begins her conspiracy stuff. Now. You got it, Listen, my delivery has always been this way. I'm a sweetheart. Just don't play with me. I'm not... Sh my delivery is my delivery. Fuck how it's coming to you. The fact that it's coming to you should be the should be the, the, the prize. I cannot sugarcoat what's going on. You uncomfortable about my, my delivery? I'm uncomfortable that you don't know, motherfucker. You choosing not to see. This shit is not to be sugarcoated, not to be Gracefully, gra gracefully say, nah, because what's happening to these children is, is nothing graceful about it. It's horrific. Because here's the thing. The military and Donald Trump have been making it fucking happen. You can't see past the hate that someone told you to have for him.
You have no core purpose of hatred for him or anybody else. Y'all niggas be hating people because someone else tells you to hate them. Same shit goes on with these $2 bitches on this app. No reason to hate Trump, she said. I've heard a thousand people do that. Never mind what our own eyes saw him do. Right? Never mind what our own ears heard him say either. Never mind those two things. We're just, we just don't like him because other people told us not to like him. In this, oh, you only support Joe because you hate Trump. Well, yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong. It, anybody, feel free to come and correct me. If you don't like or hate one, ain't you supposed to pick the other one? I mean, if you're in the business of choosing, ain't that how it goes? But the irrational rationale of Trump supporters tells them that it makes sense to say, oh, you just don't like him. And again, to make that a appear to make sense, to make that even uh, remotely uh, resemble making sense. First thing they got to tell themselves is that he's done nothing wrong. And that's all I wanted to say.